All right, this is cool. Obviously, well, maybe not obviously, maybe you can read this, maybe you can't. Magnum Research, some of you know what's in this box. If you didn't read the title, right above it, of this video. Anyway, first impressions video coming your way. This is the Magnum Research Desert Eagle L5 in 357 Magnum. So, let's start our time. So, the Desert Eagle obviously has some legendary status to it as just being this insane gun, which it kind of is. If you've never shot one before, you should try it at least once in your life. Um, hang on. I just had to run over and grab the piece of brass. So this is a 50 Action Express. So that's the what the Desert Eagle is famous for. Um, this thing is is pretty big. Um, I've only pulled the trigger on a 50 Action Express Desert Eagle twice. Um, I did not enjoy it. <laughs> I mean, I did, but yeah, it's it's just wild. Um, anyway, so the L5. This is basically the small, light, lightweight version. So this comes in those smaller magnum calibers or more conventional magnum calib calibers there. Um, so obviously in our box, we already see we got um, lock and manuals under foam inserts. So, you know, all our normal stuff. Don't really have to go through that. Uh, gun's pretty oily right out of the box. I'm just going to wipe it down with an oil rag, cleaning rag. Yes, it's an old sock. Yes, it was washed before it was used for this purpose. Let's get some excess oil off of here real quick as we're looking at it. All right, uh, our chamber flag. Let's take out the mag. Magazine's empty. Lock back that slide. Our chamber flag is a zip tie. That's kind of funny considering how expensive these things are. Um, but so what does this say? Uh, read your owner manual, blah, blah, blah. Okay, cool. So this thing is a beast. Um, it's really big. Um, we got our safety up top here. It is ambidextrous. You can see that's on both sides. It's hardly reachable with the thumb. Um, let's see. I can, ah, the leverage is such that I cannot get it with my dominant thumb there. I could use my support hand thumb to get that safety off pretty easily though. Slide, slide lock is easily reachable with the um, dominant hand there, at least for me. It is not ambidextrous on the slide release there. Um, I'm pretty sure this is likely takedown lever. Haven't looked into that personally yet. Anyway, um, so this thing has probably one of the most iconic looks of most, mo of like any modern firearm. Um, great movie gun a lot of people learn about this from movies in the first place uh what is it snatch or uh lock stock with that character who has the desert eagle and it's just it's just iconic it's awesome so things that are cool about this integrated muzzle brake into the barrel so it's a five inch barrel you know l5 five inch barrel the barrel really ends right about here at that fluting if we look in here which is kind of tough when everything's black you can see where that muzzle brake begins and the barrel ends and that that just looks so cool so again this is a 357 magnum so that's a long round same diameter as your standard kind of nine millimeter right but it's really long i mean if you look at the width of that magazine that is big um let me just grab a nine mil dummy round real quick so we can look at it so you know about the same diameter we're looking at this will go in here but obviously wouldn't work but you know almost 30 percent longer you know all that more powder behind there um so yeah some other cool things about this you may have already noticed we've got this integrated picatinny style rail on top that we could put a red dot on um it's nice how it's carved out or milled out up here to reduce some weight on that barrel the slide is very interesting if you didn't notice it already or you didn't know this already that barrel stays in place and the lower part and the rear part move back um, atypical of standard or what you may be used to in a pistol what's really interesting it has a bolt head that's very similar to what you'd see in an AR um, that's a very unique design 
um, kind of necessary for the types of rounds that it's shooting. So it has that um, delayed blowback. It, so it's recoil. It's not a gas-operated system, obviously. But the, um, the breech face, the bolt head, very similar design and style of how that AR rifle works. Let's get a little bit closer in. Yeah, you can you can see those lugs and those locking lugs in there. Super, super cool. Really unique. Um, just a monster. Okay, pretty much right at, at the five minute mark on my stopwatch where I like to have things. Um, yeah, this, this is just so cool. It really falls into uh, that category of, at least again, my opinion, this thing is huge. Um, wouldn't necessarily be a great carry gun unless you had a very sturdy outside the waistband holster and you're of a larger frame human being that you would able to be able to conceal this thing. It's quite heavy. Um, I don't have a scale right in front of me right now. To me, this falls into the classification of, um, like they say in, uh, um, what's the movie? Dang it. Uh, Dogma, Jane Silent Bob. Um, they're at a gun shop or some characters are gun shop and they call a gun the fecalator because it's going to make somebody uh, poo their pants. Okay. Um, this could be a house gun, a business gun, you know, something that is staying um, accessible, but not on the person necessarily. Um, it's just so big. Um, so it falls into that category for looking at that defense or uh, more so again, my opinion, it's falling in that category of just because. Um, the customer who bought this, um, that is exactly what they said. They just like, I just want this thing. <laughs> and that's fine. Um, if you, as long as you're honest with yourself about that, if you got to justify it to anybody else, like a spouse or whatever, maybe you got to talk about it a little bit differently. Um, anyway, so that is the Magnum Research Desert Eagle L5 in 357 Magnum. Um, absolute monster really unique really cool gun um looking forward to seeing the customer's reaction to this thing so uh that's everything so yeah comments concerns whatever below down there in, in the uh, uh comment section or email me directly no big deal all right that's it have a great rest of your day